Hi everyone, Cherie here. Today I'm going to be putting together my first pocket page spread for the year and this one is using the absolutely gorgeous February Millie kit from Felicity Jane. So I have already picked out a few of the journaling cards from the kit. There were some really gorgeous cards included in the kit this month but these are the ones I've narrowed it down to for this spread. This one isn't actually a journaling card, it's a piece of the scalloped pattern paper and I've just cut a piece from that and I'm going to use that to put my journaling on the inside and it's just going to give me a little pop of those colours on the uh, each side of the card there. So I have already printed out some of my journaling so I printed it out just onto this white cardstock and I'm thinking for one of these I'm going to actually go back in and maybe for this one here I'm going to resize that and print it straight onto my journaling card so I might go and do that very shortly. I have though already printed some journaling onto this tag. This is one of the gorgeous uh, Millie tag set pieces and it does open up and it's got this section in the middle here so I didn't have a lot of journaling for this particular photo. This is just about the crochet that I did this particular month. So what I did was I opened it up and printed my uh, journaling out in Photoshop first. So I measured what the area was going to be, did that up in Photoshop and you'll see here when I pull this off, I just stuck it down with some washi tape into place but you'll see on my journaling underneath there is a little rectangle there. So I'll just peel this off, trying not to ruin my little tag here. Oops, take a little bit off that. Okay. All right, so I just adhered it onto the little rectangle there. You might be able to see a very faint rectangle, which is roughly the size of my tag. So I just worked out where I wanted my journaling to go, printed it out onto that plain paper, stuck my tag over the top with that washi tape and then I ran it through my printer again and now I have my journaling printed onto my tag. So that is now ready to use. Okay, so what else have I got here? I've got the Essentials label stickers here that I might use. I'm going to use some of the Millie Puffy Alphabet. I do have some of the puffy hearts here. I'm not sure if I'll be using those, but they're there just in case. I will be using the beautiful Millie stamp set. I absolutely love this. And I've got all of the gorgeous die cuts over here as well. So I'll be picking out a few pieces from that. Okay, so I think I'm ready to get into it. So I'll pop you on fast forward and show you how I'm going to put this one together. Okay, I'm just popping back in before I do pop you on fast forward just to show you um, that I did make a mistake when I printed onto my tag. I had it upside down. So I have reprinted my journaling the correct way and I've printed out a smaller photo that's now going to go over the top of that incorrect journaling and that's going to cover that up. So problem solved. I have also gone in and printed directly onto that tag journaling card. So as you can see I just popped it over the top of the uh, previously printed area. When you do put something over the top and print, make sure you turn off this outline in Photoshop before you print. That way it's not going to print onto the tag or to your journaling card. All right, so that is that. Everything's now ready to go. So, okay, I'm gonna show you how I'm going to put the rest together. So for this love card, I really want to add some hand stitching to each of the letters. So I've pulled out the coordinating colors from my embroidery threads, and I'm just using a paper piercer to pierce the holes through the middle of each letter. So I'll go ahead and do that. Then I'm going to hand stitch each one. So I've just used one strand of embroidery thread doubled over and I'm just making my way around each letter. You can give you a closer look there. You can see how it's going so far. So I'll keep going with that until it's done. And you can see there that is ready to go. So for this one, I'm just going to add a little heart die cut at the end, just a darker shade of blue there. It's hanging over the edge just slightly, but I'm happy with that. And I'll come back to that one a little bit later and add some more. 
All right, so for this journaling card here, I'm just going to adhere the printed text onto the center of that scalloped uh, background piece that I cut from the pattern paper. So just centering that as best I can. And I'm going to punch the hole from the top of that little tag journaling card using a quarter inch circle punch there. So that's ready for a bit of stitching. I'm just going to add some twine to the top of that as well. All right, so just threading that through, and looping it around. All right, so I'm going to grab my sewing machine now and add stitching to those last three journaling cards before I go on with anything else. All right, so that uh, tag, the designer tag that I added the journaling to on the inside. I've just added that photo over my uh, mistake <laughs> printing earlier and now I'm going to decorate the front. I've just got this thin strip of the scallop paper. It was just a happy accident that I had this little piece and I thought it'd be fun to add it to the bottom of the front of this tag just to add in a little touch of those kit colors to the front of that tag there. So I've just adhered that to the bottom. I've got that circular heart die cut that I'm going to add to the top of that tag front. And then I've got the word craft uh, from the Millie Puffy Alphabet stickers. And I'm just going to add those to the front of the tag using my tweezers. So I'll go ahead and do that, get them all nicely lined up. Okay, so that is done. Now I could have just used twine at the top of the tag, but since I'm scrapping about a crochet basket that I make, I'm actually going to crochet a length of cord just using a simple chain stitch and you can see it there. And then I can thread that through the holes and tie a little bow. I just thought it would be a fun little extra touch there, adding that little bit of crochet. So I'm just going to tie that into a bow at the top of the tag. So that is done. I'm happy with that. And this tag is going to get adhered to the very top of this journaling card. Now, when this goes into the pocket page, the front of the tag will be outside of the page protector. So you can easily flip it up to read the journaling underneath. All right, so underneath that tag, there was that empty space. So I'm going to add that die cut label. And I'm going to add some stamping to that as well. So I've got the Happy Heart stamp from the Millie stamp set, and I'm going to stamp that onto some scrap cardstock and cut it out to add to that label. And that way I'll be able to adhere it on with a little bit of dimensional foam adhesive. So I'll stamp that onto this piece of cardstock a few times so that I can pick the best image. And while I'm stamping onto cardstock, I'm also stamping up that little XOXO banner as well, which I'm planning on adding to one of my photos. So that's stamped up really well. I'm going to use my scissors and cut those out so they're ready to go. All right, so I'm adding that label underneath the tag there, and then I'm using the foam adhesive to add that happy heart stamped piece onto that label. All right, so that one is done. I'm just fiddling around with the placement of it. I'm just trying to get that as centered as possible. So just a few little adjustments there. All right, so moving on to this journaling card, you can see I've got the stitching at the top and the bottom of the journaling. I'm just going to add the date with my Felicity Jane roller date stamp, making sure I've got the right date on there. Do a little test stamp and that's just going straight onto the bottom. I'm also going to stamp the date onto that uh, journaling tag there at the bottom. And I'll also add the date into that flip up journaling card as well, which you'll see a little bit later. Oh, you can see it at the top there, I've added the date inside. So to finish those three off, I'm just going to add one of those tiny red puffy heart stickers to each of those journaling tags. All right, just adding another little touch of red there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add that XOXO banner to the top of that photo of my hubby. So that's going on now. Now for the other photos, I decided I'm going to stamp directly onto two of those photos. So I'm using my Misty tool. Because I'm stamping onto the photo, I'm going to use my Stays on Ink. And 
I find that I don't always get a crisp in image because I'm running out of ink in my ink pad and I need a new one. So using the Misty allows me to go in a couple of times if I don't get the nice image the first time. So I'm going in there first. Uh, wasn't quite happy with it, so I'm going to go in again. Just make sure you readjust the positioning of the photo back to the right spot before you go in again. And I'm doing that a third time because just on the right hand side of that stamp wasn't stamping properly. So that's now looking pretty good. I'm going to go with that. Moving on to the next one, I'm using a phrase from the Gina kit for this next photo. So it says just what I needed. So I'm going to add that to the bottom of the photo. So you position it onto the photo first where you want it to go, close the lid and it adheres to the top of the misty. Then you ink it up and then straight onto the photo. So again, I'll just go in a couple of times to make sure I get a nice amount of ink on there. All right, so for this last photo, I thought I would stamp directly onto one of the Essentials number four labels. So I've got the You Got This stamp from the Hope stamp set, which is perfect for my photo. And I've just gone in again with stays on. I could have used my other ink for this one, uh, but I had the stays on out, so that's what I'm using. So I've just gone in twice on that. I've got a nice image on that label. So I'm just uh, tying a little bow with that twine on that journaling tag there. Just looking at else, uh, what else I need to do. I'm adding that label to the bottom of the photo now. Just getting that nice and centered. Okay, I decided I also wanted a little pop of yellow on that photo. So I've just grabbed a mustard mini wide paper clip and I'm just going to peel the edge of that label up and add that paper clip to the side there. So this is where I'm going back to that love card and I decided it needed a little something extra. So I'm grabbing one of the mustard labels and I'm going to stamp a phrase directly onto that label. It says the simple stuff and it's from last month's Crystal Kit stamp set. So I'm just stamping directly onto the label. I do apologize, it's a little bit off camera, but you'll see in a moment that I'm just adding it to the bottom of that or to the side of that card with some foam adhesive and I did have it just hanging off the edge a little bit which uh, I thought was a little bit of fun and I decided to punch a hole and add a little bit of twine to that as well just to add a little bit more texture to that card so I'm just threading that through now it's a little bit fiddly because the length of twine was so short but I'm just going to trim that a little bit shorter and that'll just be peeking out the top of the page. Okay, so that is this spread complete. I'll give you a closer look at the little details here. You can see the stamping and the stitching. There's that little flip up tag. You can see the journaling inside and finishing off with that uh, little journaling bit down the bottom there. So uh, I hope I've given you a few ideas that you might be able to use on your next project. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll leave a link down below to Felicity Jane for you as always. And I look forward to bringing you another Millie kit project very soon. Have a great day. Bye for now.